These are my top five practice drills to improve your flight skills. This will be an easy way for you to practice on your own without feeling rushed or pressured. This is a great way to build a full understanding of how your craft moves and give you more flexibility during combat and navigation around the verse. If you look at the bottom middle section of the screen, you'll see an indicator showing you the inputs that I'm performing on my ship. The first technique we'll be going over is circle strafe. Circle strafe is the act of performing a circle in front of an enemy ship. You can practice this with the station on Dying Star. This technique is important as you're closing in on an enemy, as it reduces the amount of shots that are able to land on you as you approach an enemy craft. As a reference, we'll use the station's outer ring to show our circle strafe. The goal is to follow that circle around the station. Once you get better, you can move to smaller and smaller circles. The size of the circle is a good analogy for the distance to a ship. The further away from a ship, the wider your circle can be. As the closer you get, the smaller that circle can be while remaining effective. Mind you, this technique works best and easiest in coupled, but I highly recommend that you learn it both coupled and decoupled. Our second practice routine is going to be the orbit. The goal is to orbit the asteroid in a smooth pattern. At first, you may only orbit in one direction, saying just to the right strafe or left strafe, up or down. The goal is to eventually build your skills so that you can change direction mid-orbit without coming to a complete stop. Maintaining a close distance to the asteroid will be difficult at first, but the better you get, the easier it will be to maintain this distance. This is a very important tool when it comes to navigating around the verse, and also very important when it comes to PvP combat. If combat is something you struggle with in Star Citizen, I highly recommend checking out my description box. In there you will find a playlist that will navigate you to more of my guides, many of which are focused around combat and just being a better pilot overall. For number 3 we have the split rock routine. You're looking for a small rock and you're going to divide that rock into two pieces. The sunny side will represent the front of a ship and the dark side will represent the back of a ship. The goal is to dance in front of this rock, changing directions, rotation rates, and rolls. As you change directions, make sure not to pass the sunny side. You want to dance in front of the opponent's cockpit. You don't want to cause too much separation and trying to keep the target somewhat close to you, the target being the rock. This is a way to build your inertia control and to develop pushing strategies against other opponents. Because of the complexity of this technique, I highly recommend checking out my video in the description box for more information on how this can be applied in combat. Number 4 in the list, and the most important technique for those of you that want to be better at racing or just controlling your ship overall. For this, we will be doing drifting around a station. The goal is to hug pillars coming around corners, interweaving between objectives, changing directions, changing strafe patterns, roll patterns, zigzagging between objects, and overall being able to finally control your craft around objects. I recommend starting slow and taking your time with the movements, and as they become more natural, increasing your speed. This is something you should definitely master in decoupled, but I recommend starting coupled if you feel more comfortable. And for some extra inspiration, don't forget to try this to some music. Number 5 and the final drill on our list. This will be our distance control drill. This drill emphasizes practicing merging with other opponents and controlling your craft's vector change. The best way to do this is finding the four landing pads stationed around the area. They will be numbered from number 10 to number 6, depending on which ones you find. You will start at one end of the pads and hover over to the next side. The goal is to change vector speed direction as you approach the final pad, stopping just short in front of the other pad. That's it for this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.